The burpee has been around forever. Everyone's been asking, what is the best burpee? Today, you're gonna to find out. Each burpee is going to be given an overall rating score. Then we're gonna end with two technique hacks on how you can become more flexible and burn more calories during your burpee. After today, your burpee is gonna go from to on our channel, we have 60 plus videos wow. all on burpees. That's every single day for two months. Why? Because they dominate. And unlike people who generally hype things up and say, this is the best stuff ever, I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna let you know how I've got my results and what my experiences have been. I've never seen anyone do this before. No more jokes, the intro's over. Let's get into the action. We're kicking things off with the intermediate variations. All of these ones are at level two. Straight out of the gate, we've got that six count. Out of all the burpees, this is the most important to learn. Awesome mixture of core and upper body strength. It's a foundational move, so use this at the start of your training programs to help you warm up or just to increase your body awareness. Are your shoulders feeling tight, your hips feeling tight? Use this exercise quite slowly at the start of your session to then go through and build on it. I'm going to rate this one an 8 out of 10 because it's so versatile you can use it for a warm up or a muscle building session, plus it teaches you the key positions in the burpee. There's another video that we've done up here that goes into the six count in more detail, so check that out after this video. I'm a big fan of the one pump. It's such a great movement if you want elastic tension in your ankles. As I come through, I'm going deep into dorsiflexion and I'm adopting a squat position with my arms out in front. Now with this, I discovered a great technique hack and that was bringing your arms off the floor and throwing them out in front of you very early. It helps you get deeper into that squat and rep by rep, you'll be using more of your body doing more range of motion that's gonna enable you to be more flexible in your hips, your ankles, and your entire body. I'm rating this one a seven and a half out of 10. The reason it's not come above the six count is because people don't do it right. They don't learn the six count and then go into the one pump. So if you're gonna do the one pump and you want it to be good, just make sure you learn that six count first and it's gonna be better for your body. If you've got any kind of foot issue or knee issue, this is probably the worst burpee that you can be attempting to do. Plus, there's quite a lot of momentum involved. If you spring out of it, it can be quite dangerous. It's incredible if you do it right, but it can be a real bugger if you wake up the next day and it hurts your toes. I'm giving the rocking chair a six out of 10. The reason is it can be quite dodgy for someone with a foot problem toe problem or a knee problem. So if that's you and you're struggling with knee pain, I would really leave this burpee out. It's just gonna create more issues down the line. But if you can do it right and it doesn't hurt you, it is an awesome burpee to do. What you've got to remember with the bodybuilder is it works your serratus more than any other burpee. Why is that helpful to know? Well, your serratus is responsible for pulling down your scapula and activating your lats. So doing this burpee is gonna allow you to get that V-shaped taper, get that wide back, get those lats involved. If you don't have a strong serratus, your lats are not going to engage. It's an incredible move to develop that back and core and calves, which is often a very big weakness in most people. So the stronger you get at the bodybuilder, the better you're gonna get at all pulling exercises. Case closed, it's eight and a half two pumps coming in now such an all-round move this has got everything you need it's got that up down element and it's got that muscular tension at the bottom it's very important to do full reps on those press ups this one is going to get a great scoring it's going to get a nine it's going to get a nine out of ten because it's such an all-round move you can hit this and do that cardio and build that muscle at the same time it's so versatile it's better than that six count, it's better than the bodybuilder, so it's getting a nine out of 10 from me. Five advanced variations for you coming up. Let's get into that first one. Read you like the three pump. The reason is you can set your shoulders on the floor and not worry about anything else. So when you go down, you can focus on three clean, crisp press ups. I like to do it as a warm up before I get into the bigger sessions. I'm giving the three pump a seven out of 10 because it's an awesome warm up for your upper body. So the six count is a lower body and full body warm up. The three pump is an upper body warm up. You should never do half reps. So when you're doing your three pumps, it's important to feel each inch of the rep 
and do the full range of motion. Otherwise, when you get into the more advanced ones, the ones that are coming up next, the results are going to be nothing of what they should be. This one is really gonna help you overload your chest. You think you need weights to develop your chest and upper back? Wrong. Once you can develop this, really your upper body is gonna be super impressive. However, it's important not to hit that five pump too early. Build those foundations. Dude, your patience is killing me. Slow down. This is getting an eight and a half out of 10. It's such an incredible muscle builder. Your chest, if you can develop to a point where you're doing four BPM, for a five or 10 minutes of this five pump, you're not gonna be wondering to yourself why I've got no muscle in my chest or arms or back. It's a serious muscle developer. Use this one at least a couple of times a week and you will not be disappointed. We have here one of the most powerful muscle building bodywork exercises of all time. If you've got a more effective chest builder out there and you don't use an equipment, I would like to know it. Now this move goes perfectly with the eight count bodybuilder. So however many Navy SEALs you do, so you do 100, make sure the next day you get some bodybuilders in. This gets a nine and a half out of 10. Why? Because if you do too many, you're injured. And when you're injured, you're on the couch, you're not building muscle, are you? The reason I got injured through the Navy SEALs is because I did it for 10 weeks every day, no rest. So heed my advice, no need to go over the top with those Navy SEALs. Two to three times per week is fine, and always throw in those bodybuilders because it strengthens your shoulders in the position of protraction, where your shoulders are pushed forward and you can release those shoulders off from all that tension that those Navy SEALs bring. Make no mistake, this is a phenomenal and remarkable muscle building exercise. There is no other exercise on the planet that will develop your upper body, chest, back, core, all in one go, give you flexibility, mobility, strength, power, every attribute, fitness as well, that you will ever need. However, it doesn't win the best burpee of all time. I'm sorry it doesn't do it. I'm giving it a, <laughs> I'm giving it a 9.75 out of 10, okay? Why? Because it's probably gonna be overused and abused and not done well enough. It's gonna be overperformed and under-executed. Make sure you're not one of these people that does those half pumps. So that's it, all our burpees, or is it? Well, no, no, that's nine. We've got one more. What one have I missed out? Can you think, is there one burpee that I've missed out? Well, it's coming up now. It's the 12 count. The 12 count bodybuilder, in my opinion, is the best burpee of all time. And the reason is because it keeps you in that protraction and that plank position for longer than any other burpee. Pushing through your palms the whole time, you've got a slight posterior tilt and you're pushing through those arms all the way. Once you master this burpee, every other burpee is gonna become easier and more effective. Okay, it goes down in history, the 12 count bang is winning. 10 out of 10, it is the best burpee of all time. But there's other prizes to be given out. We've got the worst burpee. What's the worst one? Can you think about it? It's that rocking chair. That rocking chair, unfortunately, is gonna overload your knees, overload your toes, and probably give you some kind of pain in your quad area. Don't force yourself, if you get any knee issues or pains in your feet, don't go through the pain. Just adapt and find another style of burpee. There's so many out there, but we wanna know what yours is. What do you think is the best overall burpee? Is it that Navy SEAL? If you haven't done any of these variations, try them out on our channel. We've got over 60 videos, flick through. We've got burpee battles. We've got single 100 rep series. We've got 50 reps, all different types of videos. We've got a six minute video if you're short on time, all the way up to a 25 minute video. So give one of those videos a shout, try them all out and let us know what you think is your best burpee. How do you burn more calories doing your burpees? Well, jogging on the spot is a big one. It's also gonna strengthen your calves. The other day when I was doing my burpees for about half an hour, I went up to 10 kilometers of steps on the Apple Watch. So the next time you're doing your burpees, as you can see in our videos, we're always light on our feet and jogging. Many people like to do jump rope and burpees and separate them, completely pointless. You are pretty much jumping rope when you're not doing your burpees. And we all know how effective jump rope is for burning calories, so there you have it. A great technique hack for burning more calories in your burpees is 
jumping rope in between, just like we do in our videos. There's a reason we do everything, it's not random. So I wanna clear up why at Upgrade X we stomach strike, touch our knees and toes. There's so many benefits to this, so listen up. First off, when you stomach strike, it braces your abs and controls your breath. So you breathe out on that stomach strike. It sets that breath right for your rep. Then the second thing is mentally. If you're very tired in your workout and you don't want to go down, you need a mental trigger. This strike is gonna greatly improve that. In with this, we also like to touch our knees and toes because it lengthens that posterior chain and it gets us in a nice hinge position. If you do 50 or 100 reps and you're folding over and you're hinging from your lower back, not your hips, then you go and do anything that's deadlift based, you're going to be using an improper technique for lifting the weight. So I know with a burpee, if you bend over and you hinge from your lower back, you're gonna be okay, but it's gonna set the bad habits in your brain. You want to be going down like you're lifting a deadlift in the eccentric phase. So you're going down into that deadlift, down into the burpee. Very helpful if you're into your weights and you're working out in the gym. I'm hinging at my hips, engaging the hamstrings, the glutes, the calves in each rep. Doing this rep after rep is gonna get you strong in your deadlift and also very flexible in your posterior chain. Try it when you're at home, it's gonna be a game changer. Third reason is, your center of mass. Finding your center of mass before you go into the burpee is very important to stabilize the start of the position. If you start the burpee with the stability of a bowl of jelly, it's not gonna go anywhere. Each rep needs to be started and ended the same way, no matter if you're fresh or feeling completely dead. That's the reason we strike the stomach Upgrade X, now you know. This channel is an overall very effective tool at getting you in shape all for free. And if we do pull it off and you do train our channel for a few weeks and you're getting fitter, stronger, abs are coming out, leaner arms, bigger chest, bigger back, let us know, comment below. Maybe you can invite me to your birthday party and I'll, I might come along, probably won't come along because I'm busy doing more videos, but you know what I mean, we can be friends. So make sure you don't leave this video without subscribing or at least saying hello and what you think of our workouts. Adios amigos, we've got a video up here that goes into the burpee variations and the BPM, the speed that we use at Upgrade X and all our videos. So check that video out at the top now, or if you fancy a workout, there's one down at the bottom.